Hello, Scorpio, and welcome back to Silky Intuitive. I'm Nancy. Okay, what I've got for you today is a look at October the 7th through the 13th, 2017. It, this is a look at general life. If you want your focused reading for love, that's going to be at my, my Vimeo channel. Now, let's take a look at what the Oracle book has chosen for you for the week. It says astrology, Leo, this sign of uh, the lion urges you to enjoy the limelight while it lasts. Now that's interesting, Scorpio. Are you going to have 15 minutes of fame? Kind of what it sounds like here. Now, um, let's see. Yeah, yeah. Let's grab a goddess guidance, too, and this one says sorceress. You are a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality. Okay, so we're going to go back to the star thing. Who's reaching for the star? Who is looking for fame? I don't know, but let's see if I can get something out of the mother piece deck. There's two. Oh, Three, four. Any more? Yep. Five. And this one. Six. And the son of discs. Somebody is reaching out for the money. Money, possibly a claim, possibly promotion, promotion at work. Are you putting your name in for a very important position? Yes, the ace of wands. So... Some of you may be reaching out for that big promotion at work, that lag up, maybe it's the raise, but there's something big on the horizon for Scorpio that may take you up in status a little bit. The Ace of Swords, new communication, new way of looking at things, new perspective. And you know that a good promotion and a good pay raise is just what some people need to give them a new perspective in life. So, it looks like this week, Scorpio, you may have something really promising developing. The, the Priestess of Disc. You know, that's the queen. That's the queen mother. She is well connected to security. What I'm going to take from this pretty much right out of the gate. Scorpio, one of you, is looking at the promotion that you've been seeking. You have almost been willing it into your life as if it's part of your night, nightly prayer. You know, this is, you know, please let Mr. Drysdale give me that big promotion on Monday. It's a big deal. That is an old reference to an old TV show. I bet you guys can't figure out which one it is. Okay, back to your reading. Anyway, look, reaching out for greatness, maybe in your own little world, but reaching out for the improvement, the something better, the moon. You know, I would say be very mindful of the feminine energy that you're working with right now. Watch for certain phases of the moon and also watch for things that appear too good to be true. Be aware that as you progress through this week, Scorpio, with some source of advancement here, definitely financial leg up for whoever this reading is about, there may be something about the situation that is presented in one way, but kind of doesn't really prove itself to be 100% foolproof. So be aware of what you're being presented. The Five of Cups. Like I said, be aware that someone may pre be presenting you what looks like a pot of gold, and when you get it, it's a pot of poop. You know, beware of what you're being offered here because this new beginning here now feels to me like there's some sort of 
underlying kind of deception. Feels like the leg up, but you may have to watch out for certain things that don't prove positive with the offer. The Seven of Cups. Like I said, the Seven of Cups can be the dream. It can be the illusion. So someone may actually, while you're progressing, and I still think that things are going to go really well for you this week, but just be careful for someone's offer as you're walking through this 15 minutes, maybe 15 minutes of fame in your own little world or 15 minutes of fame all over the world. This is saying be careful. There may be someone out there who's got some deceptive energy, mojo, that they want to hurl on your head. So be careful that someone maybe tries to, and look at this guy, look at his head. There's something coming out of it. Just like I said, I think someone may be trying to deceive you, overwhelmingly so. So as you go through maybe 15 minutes of fame at home or 15 minutes of fame everywhere, be careful for someone who may be trying to pull one over on you, you know, play you for a fool, even though the fool isn't here, watch out for what is being dealt to you. Now let me see, let me get six more if I can. Either three or six. Show me. Show me what I want. Here we go. Whatever I've got here is what's going. One, two, three, four, five, six. How about that? The five of cups. Five of cups. The fact that during this transitionary time where things are looking good, things are looking up, you may even have a bit of notoriety you know, on, in your community, or even bigger. Uh, something here doesn't look right. There feels like some deceptive energy going on around this. Again, the Eight of Cups. That is sort of taking what you can, the good, from a situation and walking away free and clear. Uh, this is sort of saying that 15 minutes that may be coming your way may actually be five minutes. Take what you can from the situation and run away with it. You know, uh, don't wait around for too much glory because that acclaim may be short-lived. Um, the hermit. Okay, so I think there's a period coming your way where I think some self-care may be in order. Maybe even... Um, Maybe even some reflection. You know, after we go through a time like that, so we've done something that does that, that works out well, or we've done something heroic in our own little world, I think that after that little bit of a claim, that step up and step out, there's always a step back and looking on the situation. So whatever it is that has brought you uh, even the slightest bit of notoriety, during the week. You may want to step back afterwards and take a good look at what that experience meant to you and what it brought to you. The Ten of Wands. So there's something really there that feels like a weight. Perspective. Look at something in a new way. Knight of Swords. So, yeah, I think something happens, possibly. it was an, Maybe it's an action, or maybe something is spoken. Maybe you end up with um, something that goes viral on the Internet, maybe even. And um, the outcome, what's the repercussion of that? Is it something you need to step back from and reconsider? Did I do something too soon? Did I act too soon? Should I look at something in a different way? Maybe the notoriety isn't really as positive as you thought it was going to be. 
And so again, there's a stepping back and a re-examining of a situation where maybe some uh, reconsideration uh, needs to be brought in. I think that the deception is really what you need to think about here. If you believe that someone in some way has deceived you, well, then um, time to consider what you're doing and what your next step is and whether or not you want to walk in the same direction as the deception. I think that's the real issue here. There's a deceiver maybe trying to lure you in one way or another. Um, the situation feels like, honestly, you'd be better off here, here alone. Someone who may be trying to take advantage of you. Someone who may be trying to offer you bad information. Someone who may be trying to delay any success you're having. What it really tells me is step back and look at that. Because the real question here to me is do you want to move forward positively? Maybe even striking out on your own? Or do you want to move ahead with the deceptive energy here? I think it goes both ways. And what this really tells me is maybe, maybe you have to live, give up part of the dream, but you can still walk away with something. Because there is something here that doesn't feel right. Maybe some information, it's bad information. Uh, I'm not sure why I get this feeling that there's something here that can't be trusted. Especially when the Knight of Swords shows up after all of this. Five of Cups is a huge disappointment. The Seven of Cups is uh, being fed the illusion. And so I, I still think that you're striving for something here. What's here though is having to look at something differently because a deception here has possibly possibly been placed in front of you where you're going to have to let go of it. You're going to have to let go of something because I think the deception that's put in front of someone is probably a negative force. Not something you really want to go with anyway. Be very considerate is what I'm thinking here. Whatever it is, as you move through this positive period, if you see something that looks too good, acts too good, smells too good, it's probably too good. So beware of a false deal that you may have to release in order to move forward. But I feel right now... This is what you're dealing with here. It's possibly, again, I think, think maybe bad information more than anything. So I'm going to leave you with this. If you need to expand on this, reach out to me through my website or through my email. I'll get back to you. Lots of changes going on at my website. So look that over. Now, um, if you... Um, Want your love reading? I'm going to go over to my Vimeo channel now, run a um, love reading meant just for you, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, uh, Vimeo channel. And uh, until the next time, I think that's about all. I think that's about all I have. Um, take care through all of this. Um, beware, beware of a deceiver as you progress forward. Something there may not exactly be what you want it to be. Okay, take care, guys. Be well and peace.